Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. So today I'm going to be talking about a tool that was highly recommended by my dear friend Alison Yang and it's called Goblin Tools. So if you're interested in hearing about Goblin Tools, then please keep on watching. So Alison introduced me to this Goblin Tools website and I've just had a little look around and it's basically, if I just move myself over, it's a collection of small, simple, single task tools mostly designed to help neurodivergent people with tasks that find overwhelming or difficult. And I thought, what a great endeavor to really try and help neurodivergent people. And so I've kind of played around with some of the things like Formalizer. Okay, let me make myself a little bit smaller here so that you can actually see the formalizer it says turn the spicy thoughts into classy ones or vice versa so we actually write our text here and then you can see it can make my text more polite less snarky easier to read more formal etc so i'm going to just put something really basic like hi how are you okay so something really basic so let's go to more informal and then see what that comes up with Hey, how's it going? Excellent. And then let's have a look if we want a little bit more sarcastic. Okay. Oh, because I really care. How are you doing? Just dying to hear all about your day. <laughs> I think it's a really good tool to kind of help us really convey the tone that we want if we are unsure. So let's go to more sociable waffle, apparently. <laughs> Hey there, how's it going? So I thought this is a nice little tool here, Formalizer, to help us with our tone, because sometimes it's a bit difficult to read the tone when it's just text. I tend to use a lot of emojis. I'm really more emotive in my language in text because I really want to get those emotions and feelings across so that it's not so sterile. Okay, let's have a look at another tool. Okay, the next tool I wanted to have a look at on Goblin Tools is the judge. Am I misreading the tone of this? And sometimes, you know, we always have a story in our own head and it's nice to have a tool tool to help us judge the tone. So I've just copy and pasted an email that I received and I've deleted any identifiable qualities here. And so you can see the message. I'm going to say judge. Okay. So what is the tone of this? The text comes across as professional, formal and efficient. It conveys a sense of organization and attention to detail in the preparation of the timetable for the mentioned courses. Now, the tone is polite and appreciative as it requests feedback or amendments in a timely manner. Overall, the message seems to be focused on providing necessary information and requesting cooperation in a business-like manner. So great. And then what if I wanted a response to this? So let's suggest a response and see what it comes up with. Thank you so much for sending over the draft timetable. I really appreciate the effort you put into organizing all the course information into the system. I'll definitely take a look using control F function to find my courses easily. If there are any changes or amendments needed, I'll make sure to let you know promptly. Thanks again for your hard work. And that is a really nice response. So, so far we've looked at the formalizer, we've looked at the judge, let's look at the estimator next. Okay, so here's the estimator and this will be the last tool that I'll go through because it's such an easy to use tool. You can just play around and have a look at it yourself. You can see there's a magic to do as well. There's a compiler and there's a chef if you want ideas for recipes. So let's have a look at the estimate. It says, just tell me how long this is probably going to take. Okay, I'm going to say record and edit a five minute video. How long is that? So let's estimate that one to two hours. That is about right. So even though the videos are at least a three or four minutes long, it does take around one to two hours. Thinking about what I want to say, the topic, the editing process, and then putting together all the thumbnails and the design. So I would say one to two hours is a really good estimate. Okay, so that's Goblin Tools. Thank you so much, Alison, for recommending this. I think this is a fantastic tool for neurodivergent people. And I think this is an absolutely wonderful tool, specifically designed for neurodivergent people, but everybody. I think we all need some help with some organization and breaking down tasks. So please give this tool a go. Thank you so much for joining me this week, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.